This video is on the M4176W in War Thunder, featuring the XV55 and me and the boys capturing the B point. Not very good cover here. We'll get rid of that guy first just because stabilizer. Aha. Hi, S2. Someone's here. Probably waiting on me. Oh my god, I couldn't think of anything more scary. My buddy, did he? Oh, I just don't see him. Is that a duck? It was duck. I fired way too early. There we go. Maybe not. Okay. I'm very likely going to get shot from this spawn. Oh yeah, it's about to happen right now. Panther! D! Oh, he's side shot on his turret. This is... His ring is gone. Something's bullying our friend over here. Oh, speaking of bullies. Oh, I missed him. Okay, we are assist on him. <laughs> can we all get on this cat? I wonder if we can get everyone on here. <laughs> We've got a pile on these guys. Like, let's go. <laughs> oh, this is amazing. Yes. <laughs> yeah, dude, that was awesome. <laughs> yes. Oh, I'm so happy. Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to be bringing out my favourite tank in War Thunder. Just to see how it does now with the volumetric shell change. Now, this little tank is equipped with the 76mm that we all know and love. But because it faces tigers and panthers, volumetric shells have really made those tanks a little bit tougher. Now, really, this tank in a full up tier depends on not getting hit at all, and even in a full down tier too. The pesky R3T20 can actually kill the string frontally, even at range, so it leaves me a little bit apprehensive. Now, a lot of people are going to ask me why this is my favourite tank in War Thunder, and it's basically because it's kind of an underdog. Really, the best things about it are its gun, its reload speed, its depression, and that's about it. Of course, it has the short stabiliser too, but armour-wise, it's not very good. The crew layout is as you would expect for a Sherman, so if anything with APAG hits us, they're definitely going to die. And speed-wise, it's not too great either. So basically, it's a tank that's just good enough in a full up tier, but in a full down tier, it's very competitive. Now, when I'm not feeling too good, which I'm not feeling too good right now, I bring this out and the XP55 to back it up too. I've also been grinding out my battle pass because, believe it or not, yes, I have to grind these out like everyone else. Gaijin doesn't often give me free toys. And honestly, I kind of like to suffer like everyone else too. Now, it's been a little while and I'm probably a little bit rusty. So, let's go see how we get on. Okay, we got a rather horrible map for a full up tier. 6.0, again. <laughs> there we go. I feel really outgunned in this thing now. Used to perform pretty well against even 6.0. I got you, bud. <laughs> Just kind of popped out like a basketball there when I bashed into him. I was going to hit the brakes and I was like, nah, I think I can fix this. Try and get to the back of the B cap and hopefully side shot things. The problem is facing Germany at long range is going to be awful from here on, which is something I really like to avoid. I don't see much over there right now. Okay, definitely got profiles from here. Far too high. Shoot, that guy saw me, did he? I don't want to fire at him again and have him know 
Oh, I had two armor plates on this IS-1. There's another one behind them, though. It's a bit better. IS-2 is looking straight at me as well. What up, Tigor? I don't want to... I don't want to fight that at that distance. Should... Lose my gunner yet. I hope it replenishes him with a guy who's not injured. Oh, just kidding. We got a couple of gummy bears in our turret now. Oh, damn, I don't even see this guy. What is it, actually? I just have a panther in the machine gun port without even seeing him. Someone quick put a lottery ticket on or a lotto. Quick. We got more friends coming this way as well. I got loads of profiles, but I'm scared to drive out. Our reverse speed isn't brilliant for getting out of trouble. Okay, onwards. After I got shot, I feel a little bit slower. Okay, we got EBRs and stuff this way too. Uh, that's quite a congregation here. What is going on here? Big old tiger. There's another one. Removed. There's some, actually, there's somebody really close to me. The side shot's working out though. Is that a guy looking at me? It's barrels. Oh, that's sad. Well, the guy who was pushing me is now dead as well. Yo, can I give a pro tip to anyone who's watching? Don't drive near fresh corpses of tanks. You're bound for a bad time. You're now in a great spot. Oh, another one here. 3485. I've got this engine. He is well aware of my existence though, which is kind of crappy. Oh, he bounced. That other T3485 didn't even notice. I'm glad. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, the guy who just died next to him must be cursing up and down. Bounced on another tiger. That one made sense though, really. Oh, he died. I didn't get an assist for him. Um. Well, it's not looked too good for the Russian German team right now. Not at all. We got a guy behind us. <laughs> like, honestly, I'm just gonna ignore it. Right, there is the inevitable SPA spam has begun. That's some AN M2. 20 mils going off. Oh, hello, wee man. Couldn't help myself. I should have just MG'd him, but that was way more entertaining. That is a very scary beast there. And a T34 57. <laughs> we killed each other. <laughs> Oh, there's my double ace. <laughs> there's my double ace. If I didn't shoot that guy with my main gun, I probably would have survived. <laughs> Oof. Ah! That was some torture right there. Oh, we got an enemy plane up. P-39 is a very good dogfighter though, so we'll see what happens here. He might be dead by the time I get down there. Oh, no, just kidding. <laughs> just kidding, he's gone. Um, and what is this? He's coming right towards me. Probably pretty slow actually. That is. Don't want to head on that. Yeah, yeah, I know yours. 
You're slower than me, so you can turn better. Get it. It's a uh, G2 109. Oh, actually, you did the right thing here. Okay. Back on the gas. Off again. And we should be good here. Let's raise our flaps. Oh, I'm sorry, dude. I'm looking so great. <laughs> he killed an M16 on the way down. Right, there was some guy, yeah, that's the guy who flanked our entire spawn, right? Um, There's not much here. They all seem to be gone. I see a Puma. And something is firing at me continually. Which is probably an Oswind. Because it's definitely not a Wurble unless the SPA fires invisible. This game is done. This game is very done. Oh, mercy to Mr. Puma. Yeah, there's a... There's the Oswind there. Maybe a, a Oswind too. Off flaps. It's looking for me. Okay, you got him. Is that waffle track? Oh my god! Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's two verbal ones now. Oh, I think that's GG. Honestly, done okay. I thought we could side shot that, but we obviously can't. <laughs> no way. Anyway, that's it. Over and done with. Nice. <laughs> yeah, so I just <laughs> I just finished doing my tasks for today, and I thought, oh, I'll make a video on this because it was like, you know, kind of fun and it's kind of topical because the volumetric. And we got this gigantic map in a full up tier. This and the, and the only thing actually that comment would have done really well on this map. He decided to leave. Well, this is not ideal at all. Where anything in the German side is going to eat us at maximum range. I'm quite a small game for a big map too. Uh, I think we go A and maybe spend a lot of the time in the XP-55. I don't see us doing well in the Sherman. I'm going to be honest. I'd love to get this map in a Comet, honestly. At this BR. Dude, that would be awesome. Really good gun depression, mobility and a APDS round. I just take like almost max ammo and just go crazy. We're actually gonna have people to our left, surely. And uh, there'll be things like Panthers and stuff. You'll get the odd uh, T-34-85. The 57 is a scarier one to me. We're gonna be in open ground for a little bit. It's okay though. If we die, we die. I am not gonna be upset. Not on this map. Mm, here we go. Right, we're going to talk like 1300 here for this guy. Look right there. That's the one. EBR. Don't want him going to our spawn, which is where he was driving. Oh, this comma guy is going to cap the point on his own, which is a real shame for everybody else. You kind of need to be mindful in gigantic maps for giving people extra spawn points. Especially in full up tiers and stuff, you know. It's not really fair. But it is what it is. A smaller map doesn't really matter, but this could make or break us. Got a lot of trouble on this map. Right, a lot of people follow that ridge line. Probably getting shot at. Right, we'll do it. Oh, hi. This uh Big old TD. God, I just rubber banded pretty bad there. Oh wow, that's a lot closer than I thought it was. He's just going to sit there static. That fire's not going to help you at all, is it? I went over again. God, why am I rubber banding so much? Whoa. It's kind of driving me mad. There you go. Need to be careful in this valley too. A lot of people will push this bridge. 
fast boys and the Italians are on the other side oh found it what is this a stoom panzer dude are you really are we gonna do this now well what should I do should I leave him alone or I, I may as well tell my teammate about him if they kill from this side too oh on. This is not great. Well, you got the comet still. I won't mind dying to this Stumpanzer if he gets me. All good by me, buddy. You're a brave soul with a fence in the way. Don't see anything down here. Probably someone driving down from here though. There's an EBR that got me. Who is that Ostin Panzer boy? Good luck, buddy! Okie dokie. First, we get that EBR as a revenge kill. Because F those things. We let that Stim Panzer do his own thing. I think they're gonna get A as well. Yeah, we need to help on B. If we see something more important than that EBR, we'll kill them first. Something is pushing on the ACAP, it's not Stumpanzer. And I think that's a Sherman type thingy in this field here pushing our spawn. We'll see what goes on here. Uh, this looks like a EBR actually in the woods. Mm hmm. Yeah. Okay, he's not going to be harming someone right now. T-34 there. He's moving. Oh, hi. A wordball. He's gone back to the cap to get crew replenishment or something. Not on my watch. Right, we got a... Sherman moving through the town. We got an angry boy down here. He's got white camo on or something. What is this actually? Oh, I see an R3 down here. He's probably going to kill me. Wait, why is the R3 not shooting at me? Where'd he go? I lost him. So many EBRs. Where are you, little rascal? Why are you not hurting me? Can I? Oh, damn, T3485. I can't really do anything to that guy. Stop crew replenishing. Damn, I just need to get one more guy out of him. No, no French yak or nothing. Right, something is firing at me still. He's popping smoke, but the smoke doesn't disperse very well from... Actually, I think I've just killed him with fire. We are definitely going to lose this game. Right. Spawn Camperoni and uh, Panther. He's, he's the next one to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh huh. Uh, that's a little Italian boy. You here? Let me know where you are. There's an Achilles next to him. <laughs> He's just fired. Dude. He's like, oh no, what have I done? <laughs> right, Achilles should kill him. We got a uh, Tigor pushing the field here. Another S actually SC fifties don't have very good roof armor. Is that myth or is it fact? We shall find out. No, they do not. Myth confirmed. Achilles here. Did he kill this little guy? I think he must have done. Oh, he's still alive. Get him, Achilles. He's right in front of you. Let's reset his repair. There we go. 
Right. Mr. Stummy Panzer's on the cap. That's an angry Oswind. Is EBR still alive down here? Yeah. I didn't forget about you though. God, why won't you die, dude? If it kills me, I will murder this man or at least try. <laughs> so many things firing at me now. <laughs> why? Okay. Well, alright, ammo. The Stimpanzer is now dead. There's quite a few SPAs mad with me. Oh, an R3. Can I, can I crush an R3? I think they changed the hull break now that you can't do that. Look at him go. Right, we're on the B cap now too. You just need to get a guy on the A cap. Bloodbow wind's upset with me. Hey, we're actually drawing a lot of fire. Oh no, the EBR killed our friend. Oh, a plane is coming in. I'm pretty damaged right now. And a verbal wind shooting at me. Let's see if we can get this guy to make a mistake. Oh, actually, we can XP 55 Kung Fu. Ow! Stop hurting me, Verbo. Oh, the R3 is back. No! R3! I'm doing fun stuff for YouTube! Stop it! I need my things! It actually turns really well, IL2. Go low speed, though. I'm very damaged, this is the problem. <laughs> don't, don't, don't crash, though. <laughs> Drop bombs on the chali. <laughs> no! I'm out of ammo. I'm trying my best. Stop blowing holes in my ship. Okay. Here it comes. Kung Fu. Oh. <laughs> I think this video is just going to be all sand. Like just sand. I wonder if this guy... He's actually got traverse over me. No, he's not going that way anyway. Okay. Someone's on C. Wanna bet it's an R3. Could have dropped some R there. See what happens. Oh yeah. That's exactly what it was. <laughs> right, prepare for Panthers and Tigers everywhere as well. But they really massacred this thing's mobility. Did you just get shot in the back? Something's pushing us. I'll mark that for this guy, I don't think he knows. Yo, broski. We're getting hard flanked right now, dude. Right. Well. I think he's realized now, but too late. I warned him. Several times. He may have just got him. And it was my squad buddy too. What on earth are you? I hate so. That was scary. I didn't even see him before. Is that a murder? Yeah, it is. Cheeky breaky. And that. Is a delete Tom, I think. Was. Wait, are we good up here or what? I tried my best to warn that guy, right? Was I in the wrong there? Should I have just turned around and gone down myself? I don't think that guy's getting the ordnance. Stuart Emil just died over here. Oh, we, we got boys all over the place. Oh, what are you? Oh, that was this truck got injured. Oh, 
Hmm. We are in danger. Okay, the four just died over there. Oh. That goes first. KV2 is watching me as well. I just volumetric the ground. I got a mad reload though. Get this KV. Oh god, they're No! Oh Jesus that flew past my camera! What up, KV boy? What up, dude? <laughs> oh my god, that was scary. What are you a Tipo? That was actually frightening watching that shell fly past. God, that, that did not go smoothly. I need to fire more rounds off. After my XP-55 Kung Fu, I uh, kept too many shells loaded. <laughs> I just got struck. What a legend. I really want to know how you got there without getting spotted. How? I love this spot up here. And not a lot of people look up here. I guess the more I play it, more people are going to notice it, which is good. It's pretty powerful up here. There's a spot on the other side as well. To counter this. And very few people take it. Oh! Our challenger died to a stug. Spitfire Typhoon and a P8. Walk into a bar. I'm just kidding, they're actually having a dog fight. Someone's not making it to the bar. Uh, I'm guessing nobody's coming at this point. Oh, hello. Yeah. I was wrong. Right. Must be an early typhoon. Reloading the 50. And there are many, many enemies. Oh, a tiger just won a fight against... The jumbo. To the Can I survive this fall? Oh no. no Alright. Totally fine. We got a yellow track. I'm sure we'll be alright. It's a Tigor. Her, uh, little BT just killed a Tipo. Coming up the hill. It's a very slow moving plane. Mm -hmm. You should definitely turn your flat plate against me. What's that noise? Is somebody else coming? Oh crap! He's he's alive. I got his load up. It's not his gunner though. That was. You best be getting out of here, dude. I think that's it. Something's definitely behind me. Oh, there was! So I know this video was all sunshine and rainbows, but really, whenever I was grinding the event out in this thing, I was having a really hard time playing against panthers and all sorts of other things. Now this Sherman before Volumetric was honestly a joy to play, but now with Volumetric added, fighting panthers with this thing it's just an absolute joke. Now, of course, I'm not saying move this thing back down to 4.7 where it was, because facing 3.7 vehicles, it's just not fair. But whenever I take a Panther A out to grind my event, <laughs> trust me, I don't run into any issues whatsoever. But of course, Gaijin's magic statistics sheet will tell us that your average 2 IQ German main will pretty much end up bringing down the Leo 2A6 
to reserve tier. Now, I had a lot of games in the XP55. It's probably the better plane for doing the tasks, especially for assists. And I probably could do a little bonus video of this thing, just doing a cast montage if you'd like to see it. Just let me know in the comments below. It'll be like a, a two video day rather than just being its own thing. Anyway, it's super late for me. I slept a lot today because I wasn't feeling great, but I still wanted to get a video out, so at least I felt kind of productive. A huge shout out to all my patrons over on Patreon. Thank you guys very much for your support, especially the tier three folks over there. It's Matthew S, Jesse Mills, Dumpin' Bunny, Kyle of White, Houndy, Gateway, Bill L, Trash Panda, Rage Zemma, Kane the Salt Lord, Viking Gods, Warpig, The Fire Piper, Sexy, Varian, Yugbo, Justin Darlin, J Thormy, and fearsome Scotsman. And as always, thank you guys very much for watching. Much love and bye-bye.